from threatening to sleep with the other fighter's wife after they win the match, to being pinned to the canvas in the aftermath, it seems like a lot of UFC fighters have had some really embarrassing moments in their career. So let's get right into times UFC fighters have had to take their words back. And of course, first is Conor McGregor. Now, there have been quite a few instances of trash talking being uno reversed in the UFC, but one fight that stands out in my mind is the Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz 2 fight. Let's rewind a bit to the lead up to this fight. McGregor, the notorious trash talker of the UFC, had just suffered his first UFC loss to Nate in their first fight. So the trash talk leading up to the fight was intense. McGregor was his usual cheeky self, insulting Diaz at every turn and predicting a swift victory. Diaz, on the other hand, was more reserved in his trash talk, but still managed to get under McGregor's skin with his calm demeanor. The night of the fight arrived, and the tension in the arena was palpable. As the fight progressed, it became clear that McGregor did not have his way as he had predicted. Diaz was able to weather Connor's attacks and keep coming forward with his own offensive onslaught. In the end, Diaz emerged victorious once again winning by submission in the second round. McGregor was forced to eat his words as he had been talking a big game leading up to the fight, only to be humbled by Diaz once again. The aftermath of the fight was just as intense as the lead up to it. McGregor, never one to shy away from the spotlight, immediately started making excuses for his loss and demanding a third fight with Diaz. And he wasn't the only one with this reaction. Let me tell you about the time Hernandez got a taste of his own medicine. It was the Alexander Hernandez versus Donald Cerrone fight at UFC Fight night 143, and boy was it a shocker. Leading up to the fight, Hernandez was talking a big game, trash-talking Cerrone and saying he was gonna knock him out in the first round. He was even going as far as saying that Cerrone was washed up and that he was going to be the one to retire him. That must have hurt, but when it came down to it, Cerrone wasn't having any of it. He's a veteran in the game and has been around the block a few times, so he wasn't going to let some young up-and-comer talk smack without consequences. The fight itself was pretty intense, with both fighters landing some serious blows but it was Cerrone who ultimately came out on top, knocking Hernandez out in the second round with a brutal head kick. And let me tell you, the fans and spectators were stunned. No one saw it coming. After the fight, Cerrone didn't hold back in his post-fight interview. He called Hernandez out on his trash talk and basically told him that he got what he deserved. It was an embarrassing moment, and Cerrone proved that sometimes actions speak louder than words. And it wasn't the only time a fighter got embarrassed in front of the crowd. The same thing happened in the Colby Covington versus Kamar Usman 2 fight at UFC 268. It was an epic showdown between two of the best welterweights in the game. And the trash talk leading up to it was off the charts. Leading up to their rematch at UFC 268, Covington was doing what he does best, talking a lot of trash. He was insulting Usman's family, his heritage, and even his intelligence. He called him a fake Nigerian, a coward, and a communist. Needless to say, Usman wasn't too happy about all the trash talk. But when it came time to step into the octagon, Usman let his fists do the talking. He dominated Covington from start to finish, landing hard shots and knocking him down multiple times. Covington was tough, and and kept fighting back, but in the end, Usman was just too much for him. The fans and spectators were absolutely shocked by the outcome of the fight. Covington had talked so much trash leading up to it that many people believed he might actually win, but Usman proved that he was the better fighter that night and made Covington eat his words. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight Champion of the world! In the post-fight interview, Usman had some choice words for Covington. He said, I told you I'm the pound-for-pound -pound king. No one can beat me. I broke your jaw last time, and I broke your spirit this time. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. But not as much as McGregor got hurt against Poirier. Now let's talk about that epic showdown between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier at UFC 264. I mean, again, Conor McGregor is one of the most notorious trash talkers in UFC history. But at UFC 264, it was Poirier who had the last laugh. Leading up to the fight, McGregor was his 
usual self, trash-talking Poirier at every opportunity. He even made some pretty harsh comments about Dustin's wife, but he kept his cool and let his fighting do the talking. When the two finally stepped into the octagon, it was clear that Poirier had come to win. He was laser-focused and ready to go. McGregor, on the other hand, seemed a bit off. Maybe it was the trash talk catching up to him, or maybe it was the pressure of trying to live up to his own hype. The and now they're grappling, and if you think it's a grappling fight, you favor Dustin Poirier. Yes. The fight started off pretty evenly matched, with both fighters trading blows and trying to establish dominance. But in the second round, Poirier handed a nasty calf kick that visibly rocked McGregor. From there, it was all downhill for the Irishman. Poirier continued to work the leg kicks, eventually causing McGregor to stumble and fall to the mat. He had broken his leg. The fight was stopped due to a doctor stoppage, with Poirier being declared the winner due to McGregor's inability to continue. The fans and spectators were definitely shocked by the outcome, and it wasn't the only time it happened, because K.L. Sonnen versus Anderson Silva II at UFC 148 was a similar story. Now, Sonnen was known for his brash trash-talking and had even managed to dominate Silva in their previous fight, but this time around, Silva had a different plan. He didn't engage in Sonnen's verbal sparring and let his actions do the talking in the octagon, and boy, did he deliver. Silva put on a masterclass performance, finishing Sonnen in the second round with a TKO. Fans were left shocked as they witnessed Sonnen, who had been so confident in his pre-fight taunts, being forced to eat his words. Lesson learned, sometimes it's best to let your skills do the talking instead of your mouth. Far enough away from danger as he starts teeing off. Brando oh, looks Brandel. hurt. Brando looks hurt. This could be the end. Big left. This could be an early stoppage. McGregor Another first comes round in. for McGregor. This could be it. That is it. It is wow. all over it. Conor McGregor. But I guess not, because McGregor did it again with his fight with Habib. Yep, UFC trash talkers have a tendency to write checks their bodies can't cash. Take Conor McGregor, for example. He's infamous for his pre-fight verbal assaults, but his words caught up to him at UFC 229 when he faced Habib Nurmagomedov. Despite all his hype and bluster, McGregor was no match for the Russian grappler. Habib dominated him on the ground, submitting him in the fourth round. To make matters worse, chaos broke out after the fight, with Habib jumping over the cage to attack McGregor's cornermen. The fans and spectators were shocked by the outcome, but they shouldn't have been. Connor's bravado only took him so far, and Habib's skill and discipline proved too much to overcome. That's all for the times UFC trash talkers were forced to eat their words.